With the growing demands of software products all over the world and with the growing software market far beyond the English-speaking world, it's important for the software to be world-ready for all potential customers by supporting various languages and data formats. To make that happen, the most crucial step is to design the software with globalization and localization in mind. Localization of a software product requires that the product be adapted to both the language and the culture of a particular market. Unlike a translated book, the product must adhere to a particular locale's conventions and culture. In fact, the final localized version of the original product should look and feel as if it had been designed in the user's home country. Some examples of other things that need to be adapted based on locale include currency, address, number, and date formats, the sort order, and for many Asian languages, the fonts and the font size. In this episode, I will provide some generic information about the concepts of globalization and localization that Blazorplate supports. Now I'm going to open up the culture info, time zone info, and date time format pages which are located under the proof of concepts menu. The culture info page represents culture-specific information, such as the language, country and region, calendar and conventions associated with a particular culture. Right-to-left languages such as Arabic and Hebrew require an inverted layout, not only of the text but of the whole user interface, including buttons, menus, and dialog boxes. The time zone info page represents some information about the time zone used by the browser. A time zone is one of the areas into which the world is divided where the time is calculated as being a particular number of hours behind or ahead of coordinated universal time or UTC. The daytime format page represents other culture-specific information for the selected culture, such as the patterns used to format date and time values, the names of the days, the names of the months, the AM and PM designators used in time values, and the calendar in which dates are expressed. As you noticed, the UI text translations are changed according to the selected language. From the proof of concepts menu, I'm going to open up the resources page to show you how to render the translated strings in the UI. This page contains sample texts that can be displayed in different languages. These texts are typically stored in multilingual resource files. Multilingual resources allow you to dynamically display text in the language selected by the current user. Blazorplate uses resource files in XML format to localize the names of the UI labels, as well as other text in the user interface. Blazorblade solution contains two types of resources, the front-end and back-end resources. You can use the front-end resources to manage the localized strings used in your front-end application. Also, you can use the back-end resources to localize your API notifications, such as form validation messages, success messages, and error messages. You can use Resource Manager extension that uses cloud-based machine translation services such as Microsoft Translator or Google Translate API to assist in the translation of localization strings. Resource Manager is a free extension, and you can install it from Visual Studio Marketplace. When you add a resource file to your solution, a designer file would be created, providing static strongly typed access to your resources by calling the resource by its name followed by the key of the target string. In Blazorplate, resources can be accessed through localization service class that implements iString localizer abstraction, which is typically injected where needed via dependency injection. This interface has an indexer that allows you to access resources by a string key. If no resource exists for the key, then the key itself is used as the resource. You aren't limited to using XML resource files. By implementing iString Localizer, any data source can be used, such as Excel Spreadsheet, JSON, SQL Database. You can use one of those data sources in your project, depending on the project's requirements. Thank you for watching.